another one. Yes. <laughs> he, he says, he says, I hope he realizes he doesn't realize how close he is to winning this thing. And he's running on an, uh, adrenaline. And then he just, they dive in the water. He says, uh, <laughs> he doesn't have a clear idea how close he is to winning. And Hellboy gets his ass thrown out of the water and then pounded into the wall. He says, maybe some hope here. <laughs> Enough, Olsen. We do not with the creature dead. Um, and now Rasputin just spills the whole piece. Of course, Hellboy okay. can't do anything but listen. So, you know, he's ranting about, you know, his death in Russia. He goes to Italy. You know, there he starts teaching. Um, he's offering, you know, help to priests and whatever else. And Himmler eventually comes to him to hire him. Um, and of course, he takes him back to meet Hitler. And they, you know, give him everything to try and create their ultimate weapon to help them win the war. Um, that's when they go to the island where they actually summon Hellboy. And Hellboy's supposed to help bring about the end of the earth, but he doesn't. Um, and then um, <clears throat> when uh, the U.S. military shows up, Professor Bloom saves Hellboy and they defeat Rasputin. He talks about they just head to the North, uh, the North Arctic Waste. Um, I got this too. So he takes people and get, you know promises them money, but then feeds on their souls as he's going, and just leaves the desiccated corpses there until he finally arrives, you know, in the temple in the Arctic by himself. Yeah, hidden from the world of. Here, hidden from the eyes of God, dead and fossilized to another, I would have seemed as a grotesque statue, but not me. Um, and then this is where uh, Professor Bloom actually shows up, because um, he's doing more more work in Antarctic, and he runs into uh, Rasputin in the temple up there. We see the names of the seven beasts or monsters, dude. Liz does almost nothing in this book. Yep. I had forgotten that. Nothing. Dude, she's 